from the book by AVT. We are now taking the question from page number 40. And this is a, a very good question, very important question for CBSC. And uh, if you could see that this is question number 33, this is under root of secant x minus 1. So we'll now solve under root of secant x minus 1. So now we'll solve the integration of under root of secant x minus 1. Well, to see the approach that if you write secant as 1 by cos and you take the LCM, then the numerator can be put into the half angle. What is 1 minus cos 2 theta? That is 2 sine square theta. So the numerator can be put as half angle. But what about this denominator? What about this denominator? So because, because you are getting sine, because ultimately under root and square will be cancelled and you will be left with sine. So it is very important to get the same angle in cos. So you apply cos 2 theta as Two cos square theta minus one. That is two cos square x by two minus one. So now the question becomes So now the question becomes And one can put cos x by 2 is equal to t because we shifted minus 2 to the other side. Now, question takes the form of now the question takes the form of And before applying this special integration, it is important to take root to common. And that can be put as 1 by root to the square. So this root to this root to cancels out. And we are left with minus 2 integration of dt over and everyone knows that dx over under root of x square minus a square is log mod x plus under root of x square minus a square plus k so the integration becomes where t is so this is a very important question and this can be the part of CBSE board exam